Hey everyone, this is David on Earth. Thank you for coming to the channel. Today I want to talk about what kind of food I take with me on a three-day backpacking trip. So stay tuned. This won't be normal. All right, so let's get right into it. Then I'll talk about why a little bit later on in the video. So what do I eat on a three-day backpacking trips? Well, mostly I dehydrate my meals using whole, less processed foods as the base, then I put it all together into a meal. Usually a quick breakfast bar, a variety of wholesome snacks throughout the day, and then one meal towards the end of the day. But you know what? Uh, I'm not a purist. Uh, not everything I eat on the trail is unprocessed. Some of it is, and some of it is more processed than other things. And, but I'm happy with the balance that I found for me. So let's go through it. Okay, so what do I eat for breakfast? Well, I make my own breakfast bars. They're packed full of nutrition. There's fruit in here. I think there's dates, seeds, and nuts, oatmeal. And then I have some almond butter. It makes about 12 squares like this. Again, homemade breakfast bars. Um, I, I do this kind of thing because uh, of the nutrition. I, I know exactly what's in it. I know how much I put of everything in it. And uh, there's no like, it's not packed with preservatives. So that's why I like making this kind of stuff. It makes me feel better. Well, that was fun. So let's talk about what else I eat on the trail. Well, um, I don't really have a set time where I eat a, like a lunch. Um, I'll just pack a bunch of things in my in my side pocket of my of my hip belt, and I'll just kind of munch all day. Um, so uh, this is my homemade uh, jerky that I make, and you can make however you like your jerky. If you like teriyaki, if you just like you know pepper, if you like you know whatever you like, just do it. Make it what you like. Um, I've also kind of fell in love with these Paleo, Paleo Valley um, meat sticks. Um, I just like what they stand for, the company, um, and how they treat their animals. Um, and this is a good uh, source of protein on the trail. I also have, as you may have seen in some other little clips here, is dried fruit. I like pears, I like apples, I like bananas, and so I'll dry out. All those usually in the early spring you know just to get ready for the summer uh, hiking season I'll just make a bunch of these and I'll dry them in my dehydrator and then I like little nut mixes so you can buy already um, packaged nut mixes or you can go buy them raw from from uh, one of your health food stores um, I like to do that and then I'll put a little salt in there just so I can get a little bit more sodium during the day um, so you know, if you buy them at the store with sodium, great. You have your sodium. Uh, if you don't, you can add sodium. So that's some sort of electrolyte pack. You know, buy what you like. Uh, this I just bought cheap over at Walmart the other day, but not my favorite. But you know, buy an electrolyte mix that you like. Once in a while, I will pack out some tuna. This happens to be spicy chai, chai chili. Um, so I don't, I don't mind doing this uh, as long as it's wild caught. And the other thing I like to bring is, um, don't shoot me, ramen. It's a quick and easy meal. I don't eat a lot of it. I'll usually take two or three kind of as a backup thing just in case I get really hungry and I need some kind of carbohydrate to fill me up. You know, that's why I'll bring that. You can shop around for ones that are more nutritious than others, but this is a nice snack when you really need it and you're super hungry and had a rough day and you just want to eat more. All right, so that's just a sampling. I'll change things up from time to time, from trip to trip, so it doesn't get too boring. But normally, I won't stray too far away from wholesome, less processed choices. So you'll notice, like in that last clip, that I do have some prepackaged ramen from time to time and maybe some packaged tuna or salmon. And I'll enjoy a handful of peanut M&Ms in my nut mix once in a while. So there you go, I'm, I'm not much of a zealot with this stuff as you might have guessed. 
Uh, next here I have uh, a couple samples of my main meal that I use on the trail, usually around dinner time. So tonight we have chicken and veg couscous. Yeah. Before I dehydrate my chicken, I season it really well with a uh, five spice, um, uh, Middle Eastern five spice um, little mix that I make up. And so um, because I season it so heav heavily when it dries out, you know, um, I don't have to put any more seasoning or anything in my dish when, when I go to rehydrate it. And the veg is just from, you can buy these, um, these containers of vegetables for soup. So it has all kinds of vegetables in it, including onions. Uh, there's peas, carrots, um, there's parsley in here, a bunch of stuff. It ends up being a really good vegetable mix for all my dehydrated meals. Well, a half cup couscous, and about a quarter cup of chicken, and a quarter cup of vegetables. You can put more or less, whatever you want. You want less veg or less meat or whatever. That's hearty meal. Very good. So for Hawaiian shrimp and rice, I might have reviewed this on another video in the past, but let me just breeze through it one more time. So I got this freeze-dried uh, shrimp. I get them from the Asian market here locally. And uh, these are very dry, and so you want to soak them like for a good half hour before, before you put them in with the rest of your meal. And then the same thing with the veg. Um, it's just that soup veg mix. Just take a now this is probably a few teaspoons or a few tablespoons maybe, something like that. Again, whatever is to your liking. And then I have then I have the rice. And this is about a half cup of rice. But in here I also have, and this was this one makes it Hawaiian, freeze-dried pineapple. And you just chop that up in little bits. And I don't put a lot of it in there because I can't have a lot of pineapple because of the acid. But uh, it sure makes it taste good. And that's it. So you just um, have to wait for these to hydrate completely, and then I can go ahead and pour my hot water in there, and then just let it soak until the rice is done. Uh, it's usually about five, maybe ten minutes, and um, then it's ready to eat. So here is the finished product. It bloats up a little bit, as you would expect in the rehydration process. All right, let's see if my world is still awesome. Oh yeah, still awesome. It's important that those shrimp rehydrate for as long as possible. Otherwise they get real uh, chewy and the shrimp flavor really doesn't come out. I let mine soak for a good half hour, and I, I put the, it was cold water, so I put the little bag in the sun, so it would heat up a little bit. You could also put hot water, I think the hot water would uh, accelerate the rehydration a little bit better, so. 
And then when I'm boiling up my water for my meal to rehydrate it, I always put a little extra water in there because I like to have a cup of tea right after I eat my meal. Now you can bring whatever tea bags you like. Um, what I do is I make my own tea bags. And um, this one has green tea in it, green tea leaves, and plus some chamomile that we grow out in the garden. And so I drive the chamomile and I put it in with green tea. And it makes for a nice evening tea. As you know, chamomile relaxes you helps you get to sleep. So if you have problems sleeping at night while you're camping, go ahead and bring some chamomile with you. <clears throat> There's other types that will help you relax too, but I like the flavor of chamomile. It's a little bit fruity. Now, right about the time that my meal's done, a little bit after that, this just cools off enough for me at elevation here to just go ahead and enjoy it right after my meal. Very nice. Okay, so that's pretty much what I take on these hiking trips. Um, I make my own food, mostly. I'll buy some uh, prepared stuff, a few things maybe. But uh, for the most part, I like to know what I'm eating, just like at home. Uh, I don't like to make the trail much different, except I burn a lot more calories and I need a lot more electrolytes. So I'll add those kind of things. I like to keep it simple and easy. And uh, that for me is easy, that for me is simple, and it's good for me. And that's the bottom line. Thanks for watching. I'm David on Earth. I do hiking and backpacking stuff, I gear reviews, stuff like that. So uh, if you like this kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe. All right, just like always, you know what to do. Live like you want it, man. I'll see you on the trail. Hey, this is David on Earth. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And go to the website for some deals on gear. All right, see you on the trail.